there are some really good people going for this RC. Like, crazy good people. I am not the greatest at the game. I am, I think I am way better than I was whenever I first went for North, which actually was my first ever video for North or like response for the North RC was September 1st of 2017. So it's been about two years since I started going for North, I think. That's crazy. I hope I make it this time. I really do. This video, we are going to be using another different uh, sort of class loadout. So last time I used this and I actually did freaking amazing with it. There is a second, uh, I do have a second variant for it. That is Sand Snake, which compared to this one has much more accuracy, dam uh, more damage, less range. Let's just try it. We're going to start out with the core game modes and see if we can't get like a good handle on this gun because the stock on this thing looks super stubby. So I, I, I doubt the recoil is going to be that fun. I'm still going to be getting some lag for the minute because I don't play this map very much, so I don't have a lot of the textures and everything loaded in like I do with some maps, but hang on. I got to get I, this is my first game on today. Actually, my first game on in two days. Nice. I made that video about me making that like I, like I talked about. I got to be honest. I had a lot of fun making that video. I had a lot of fun making that beat too. I think that can be a uh, maybe not a consistent thing, but I definitely want to. This thing's got crazy bad recoil. Holy Balls. I can definitely make more of those types of videos because I've got tons of ideas for instrumentals and music and a whole bunch of cool things to do that I can do with that. And while it sounds kind of crazy, like Lummy, he, he commented on my he commented on my video and said, "Yo, we really got a producer going for this." But like, producer and like beat making are two different things. Producer is someone who like produces songs and stuff. I haven't produced anything. I've made a few beats. They're okay. They're good enough to be put in some videos. <laughs> if you guys heard my beginning beats, though, jeez. Sounded like a hot garbage fire. I don't know how to play this map, man. I hit. Oh, wow. I'm definitely playing a few games today because it takes me a while to get into any sort of groove. We have a full enemy team, so I don't know where they are, but they're there. I can't get over this lag, man. I don't know why I'm lagging so much. I got everything like set what I need to. So since I didn't start playing this like right away with everyone, I don't know much of like, I don't know about all these bundles and stuff. Oh, we get a spray and a culling card. Nice. I don't want to use it on that if I can use it on something else. <laughs> yeah, but I, I didn't really get into the whole game and everything for a while, like until now, really. So I don't know what any of that stuff is. I don't even know what it means. And like some of the maps, I still don't even know how to play properly. Right, see, look, I can sit here and do this. As soon as an enemy pops up, though, it's lag. So it's like, pfft, lag, <laughs> lag, lag. There we go. There we go. Never mind. I can't move fast enough because I'm lagging all over the freaking place. Let's set that to not 66, 66, but bad. Yeah, unlimited with V-Sync should be fine. Ah, this is supposed to be this gun. Hold that. Okay, good, teammate. All right, I'm getting... Oh, there we go. I'm getting better FPS right now. I don't, I'm not going to speak too soon, but for now, it's okay. Oh, that's short mag, dude. That's just never a good idea. It's like as soon as I go to spray, I have to hit at least four of like... Or well, not four. Four doesn't sound so bad. I've got to hit like 15 of the 30 shots I have just to get this guy. This guy. Oh. I don't know if he baited me or if he has a UAV. Honestly, man, I'm just chilling, dude. I don't even care if I have like good gameplays or whatever. I'm just chilling. Can I, can I just chill? I'm having so much fun lately. Like it's not even like even with work, even with this craziness of the entire universe going on right now, I am having the most fun I've had in my life. Yeah, it's just this is like, like this game. I don't know if it's the game or if it's the maybe it's the challenge of going for something again actually feeling like a, like there's somewhere to go with all this stuff for a very long time i just sat there and I, anytime i tried to record dude i just had this thing i don't know i don't know what it was it's jesus man it's me getting mad i'm literally gonna be doing i, I gotta get i gotta get at least a good okay i need to shut up and focus on gameplay for a second but i'm not gonna shut up because i gotta talk about this just for for a while though i felt like every time i recorded i felt this just continuous I can't see with that scope. Nice. 
I'm gonna finish this sentence, I swear. I felt this continuous stress, like just a complete anxiety, complete just garbage feeling every time I hit the record button. I don't know, if you guys know what anxiety feels like, it was like that, but like times 10, because this is something that I wanna do, I couldn't do because anxiety and crazy feelings all over the place just got the best of me with it every single time i tried to do something like i just sat there i couldn't couldn't move i didn't want to i didn't want to do it i turn it on and i'm shy like right away but i am not a shy person not in real like not in person not on video i shouldn't be for some reason whenever i started to do that i just was flipping spawn I'm glad, like I am so glad that I'm able to just be here. There are people right now that can't, you know, well, there are people at all times that can't do the things that they want to do. And for me to be someone who can, like, that's a positive thing right there. Like, I don't care what's going on in the world. If I can do what I want to do, I'm doing it. If I can be happy with it, I'm sorry for everyone else that can't be. <laughs> I used to, whenever I used to make uh, videos whenever I was younger, so like back at my mom's house and stuff, whenever I live with my parents, I guess I said mom's house, but I live with my parents, not just my mom. I just, I always felt this like constant, like I shouldn't be doing this kind of thing. Like, oh man, I really should stop doing this every time I record this. And it's not like, it's not like my mom was ever like, oh, that's a dumb idea. You can't do that. Neither of them were ever like that. They were both, I can't say that they were supportive. They weren't like, oh yeah, you can, you know, miss school today to do that. Or you can, you can do this. That sounded bad. <laughs> they did tell me that it would be, it could be something someday if I really wanted it to be. I mean, they never exclusively said that, but I'm sure that's what they meant. It's just, they were never, they never really understood it. I can't blame them for not understanding something. Here's a fun story. From my junior year of high school until the end of a schooling, well, before then, since before then, I wanted to initially do online schooling after my very, like after my freshman year. I hated being in classes with other kids. I hated just being around other people while trying to learn and trying to graduate high school and stuff. It was the worst and most annoying time in my life for me. And well, sure, I met some people that I am friends with today and that I met, you know, my fiance. I just, I hated being around other kids and I hated the constant feeling that like, if I rose my hand to answer a question, not like in the movies, like they're like, oh, look at this smart kid's an idiot. I knew the answer to all the questions, but if I was ever wrong, I just, I couldn't, for some reason, I just couldn't sit there and do that. I felt too pressured. Whenever I was around other people or like other kids and I was trying to fully understand something, I don't know, I just couldn't do it. What I ended up doing was I went through and I was actually in the process of trying to make a video and I realized that I had like a, an assignment due for school or something like that. And so the second that I finished up whatever it was I was doing, whether I was playing a game or making a video or writing down ideas or something, it was something to do with videos. I know that I remember that because at my school, you can do online classes during three different time slots. If you can get approved or like basically if you can get into those, if you have enough credits where all you need to do is finish a couple of classes and you can graduate, you can get into those classes and you can actually graduate early. Or if you're behind, you can get into those classes and graduate on time. I was behind in, I think, a subject or two, and I had like an extra credit for something else. But essentially, what I ended up doing instead of my work for like, a, you know, two full days and a half, I made a slideshow about the pros and cons of being in online school versus regular school. And so, you know, I kind of like presented this. I, I called my parents down to my room one day. I was like, hey, can you guys come down here? I got something I really want to talk to both of you about. And it's a, it's a, it's a big opportunity for me. This is something that will help me greatly within life. Just gave them the whole, you know, spew of everything. I was like, this will help me with life. This is going to help me with my sleeping. I'm going to be happier. I'm going to actually finish high school at a good time. There is nothing negative about this. Besides like, I think that, I think there was a fee for it. I think it was like a hundred dollars or something like that. And they might've had to pay a fee depending on few things i brought them down there and i told them that's the, like i told them this is what i want to do i don't care whether you guys want me to or not if you don't want me to i completely understand but i'm not not gonna do this i just basically said if i don't do this i will either be held back or i will fail high school. it's just a given and honestly they agreed with it pretty quickly i don't want to say that there was like it wasn't easy but they agreed with it pretty quickly for my sophomore year, uh, freshman, hang on, freshman, sophomore, junior, for my junior year of high school, what ended up happening, because that was about the beginning of the school year, I had my full seven class periods, what ended up happening was I transferred my last two classes to online class, which was from 12 to 3, so from 12 p.m. to 3, or from 12 a.m. to 3 p.m., 
I was just in one classroom. I would work on one class one day, work on my second class that I had switched to that another day. And that was great. Like it was, it was so much easier. I just felt better. I, was, I felt like I was so confident in those classes that I could actually graduate on time and I could finish school and I could get out of there because that's not what I wanted to do. I, I had, you know, on Fridays, I wasn't even required to go to that on Fridays, so I could leave at 12 every Friday, and I'd get home before all the other kids, so I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, hearing anything extra on my videos, and I could record stuff. I had to get this skill. There it is. I, I mean, I could do, you know, just so much, so many more things with an extra two hours and confidence that I was actually gonna finish high school, that I wasn't just pushing it off just to, make videos. I shouldn't say just to make videos, but that I wasn't pushing it off for something different. Since that went so well, I ended up finishing both of those classes earlier than I was projected to, and I ended up adding on another class for the next year already within my within the same year. That just proving that everything was good, whenever I went to the principal or the superintendent or whoever he was, the dean of students, whenever I went to him and I told him that was just like kind of a trial run for me to see if I was okay with that or if I really wanted to do that or whatever it was and the teachers had to, because the teachers were all the same in that class, they had to agree that I was a good fit in there and that I could actually just focus on myself and do my work. They all did, they all agreed and my whole entire senior year I went to school. Some days I went, you know, from like, like I'd tell them the day before, I'd be like, hey, can I come in at seven tomorrow and leave, you know, stay for four hours, coming from seven to 11 or something like that. And I can leave, you know, just at 11 and still get my hours in for the week because you're supposed to meet a minimum requirement for hours. And it was a whole like thing. If you didn't meet that, you'd have to stay after or come in on a Friday whenever you don't really have to. They were like, yeah, you know, you can do that or you can tell us if you want to stay longer. And on days on days where I had already had a video ready to upload, I stayed longer. I ended up graduating high school full like three months early or I don't even I don't know. I think it was it was definitely early. I just don't know how much earlier it was. It wasn't like a full semester or anything. It was just it was maybe a month or two earlier, but essentially it gave me confidence. Like I was able to sit there and be confident that I had high school in the bag. Like I was done with high school before everyone else in my class and before I was ever even projected to. And so, you know, right as I finish it, the teachers are like, so do you want to, uh, you want us to show you how to apply for college and stuff? Or do you have any questions about that? I was like, I might go online and get an associate's degree in something, but I doubt that I'm going to college. And that's not because I didn't want to go to college because I do want to get maybe an associate's degree in like a good, a good paying field or something like that. But I don't want to sit there and go to college and pay debts and fees. I don't think that's gonna happen. So anyways, that's just how my entire senior year was and I was just chilling. Every day it was just a, it was such a good routine to get into. Cause I could, I actually even got into the routine of waking up earlier than most people probably ever would. If you guys don't think I'm crazy yet about this whole like everything that I've been talking about, this will definitely make you think I'm crazy. <laughs> what my what I ended up getting into the scheduling pattern of was I would come home from school and I would go to sleep at around 11 or so most nights, maybe 12. Uh, no, it was around 11. It was ma mainly around 11 because I would wake up at 1 a.m. every day and I had like an alarm set and everything. And the reason, <laughs> you're not going to believe the reason I did it. The reason I did it was so I could play games before school even though i already had all this time before school and after school if i had just woken up on a on a regular time frame but because i because i just wanted to i wanted to play more games i wanted to get just have more fun with life and not be stuck in school and not be stressed about everything like i've seen everybody that's what i did and it was it was literally i gotta say it was the best time like ever oh come on those are both like very damaged people right there and trust me, I don't miss going to that class or anything. That was, uh, that was like the least of it. Cause some days I would be so tired, like from grinding so much in the nights and stuff that I, I would fall asleep in that class. And even then I still got done with it early. I'm telling you guys, you just focus on the things that you want to do. And it makes things so much better. For some reason it ended up being a wholesome, happy video, which hi. My name's Sean Ramirez of Brown Hammer. I'm wholesome. You know, come to think of it, if I was, if I, if I was, if I were, we were, if I, if, no, it's just, it's just me. So if I were, if I were to join North, what would my, I don't know what my name would be. Cause like I could do North Hammer 
I could be like, yo, what's going on, guys? It's North Hammer. It's Brown Hammer and North Hammer here. That's just, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Or I could do the typical, like, my name is like North Sean, but that also sounds weird. So I don't know. If I were to join North, what would my what would my name be? Would it just be North Hammer? Let me know down below what you think. Yeah, so I guess that's a, it's a little bit of a shorter. Well, no, nah, I want to play one more match. I just want to play one more match. Just focus on killing. I probably talk a little bit, but I want to try and see how good I can actually get this gun to be. Also, I saw that they remastered the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. That looks freaking amazing. I'm not going to say the COD scene is going to blow up again because it's doing pretty good right now. It's pretty stable, especially with Warzone, which I want to make a video on, by the way. I just don't know if I can run it at the same time because you can see I'm having problems already. So the thing with this current weapon, I think the only thing I would change would probably be the scope. I like the, actually I like the, the double one, but I would definitely probably change it to something different. I don't know if I would do that. That's a bit much. It's a bit, yeah, it's a lot of zoom there. Let's try throwing on, we'll put it on later. Oh, we're on Candor. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta put something on there that's gonna make like a ADSing just a little bit quicker. Yeah, if they fully remastered Modern Warfare 2, it would be the craziest thing. No matter what game gets remastered, whether it's Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4 even, like, whatever happens, Call of Duty will never be the same as it was whenever it was just whenever it was brand new to everybody. I was just telling someone about this, I forget who. I was just talking to them about the whole COD scene as a whole. About how, like, no matter how crazy things get, no matter how many people play or how many old people join back up, it'll never be the same. It just can't be. Because what's been done has already been done. What's happened has already happened. And it's just people aren't going to take to it trying to be different like like everyone wants it to be. Because they want it to be modern, but they don't want it to be advanced. And they don't want it to be... They want it to be old. They don't, they don't want the old stuff. They just want the, they want the vibes, you know. I feel like some sort of old teenager. Whenever I say vibes, it just doesn't feel right. This site's not that bad. I mean, the site's not great, but it's not that bad. This map is actually pretty freaking crazy, man. Like I was saying in the in the video that I made for it, if you haven't seen it, check up top right now. Should be right above me, I think. This map's pretty good. I like it. Really, dude? You couldn't kill me at that distance and you had the drop on me? That was a good idea. This thing melts. Oh, it's coming for me. No, it's not okay. This guy is. He's dumb. Oh my god, he's so dumb. Really? <laughs> he fell for the juke. This map, I think this is my map. Like, I literally, I don't know. I don't even know how it's possible to go negative or not do good on this map. Clean house. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, this is chaotic, man. You can get a perfectly good grenade right in the door. He's dead. All right. That is all I've got for today. Wasn't that great of a game, but... I think I had a lot of good talking points in there, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And also, if you guys want to know any of the settings I use to record, whether it's the face cam settings or the mic settings or the gameplay settings or whatever, let me know and I will drop them below or I'll make a video on them if you want. Thanks for watching. It's been Brown Hammer. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.